Hello again, this is Matt Moser, a partner with Alchemy Solutions, and today I'd like to cover with you the ability to call a Windows API using NetCobol for Windows under version 10. And what you can see right here is a project that I have open, and I'm going to click on the COBOL program to kind of give you the name of the API that we're going to try calling. The name of the API is Get Current Directory A, which can be found in the kernel 32 area underneath your Windows system is referenced in the kernel 32.live. So when you compile, make sure that your um, lives are specified as will happen when you um, create a project. So the um, this particular project, um, I have not set any compiler options and I kind of wanted to show you the uh, a couple of things that can occur um, when compiling and the ways to get around it in the proper way in order to make a call um, out to a Windows API. There is some other methods including entry files which we'll cover in a future tutorial. So um, without continuing too much further let's go ahead and we'll try a compile and we'll show you what errors um, that you can run into without a compiler options and I'll show you different ways to resolve them. So we do a, a build here and you'll notice that what ends up happening is see this get current directory A at 8 is all capitalized and the actual name of the DLL is get current directory A. It is case sensitive. When the compile runs by default it's going to try to uppercase everything that you have. So um, let's go ahead and we'll resolve that real quickly. Um, I want to exit out of this and close down the window and next step we're going to go ahead and resolve that by modifying the compiler options and I'm going to do an add and the word that we're going to add is alpha L and let's go ahead and go from there uppercase alphabetic characters but we're only going to do it um, we're going to use the word option here so that those items like your API calls wind up staying at their words that they have specified in the case sensitivity that they are. So I'm going to press OK. I'm going to say done here. And I'm going to say OK. And so now if I come in here and I compile, I'm sorry, I do my rebuild here, you'll notice that it compiled fine. Okay? And in order to prove it compiled fine, it's usually a good thing to see it run. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. And sure enough, it ran and it came back with a press a, uh, key slash enter and we're all done. Um, I want to show you one other area that's a concern that many people run into including myself and that is if your compiler option one of them is deload. Okay? Dynamic load is a very powerful option in the fact that you can dynamically tell your programs to be called um, without having to have them all linked in and together so um, at the compile time so they actually dynamically load at runtime so let's go ahead in and we're going to set a compiler option which many people use called deload and I'm going to say add deload for dynamic load and we're going to say make the program structure dynamic press OK done press OK now watch what happens. I'm going to do my build. Okay, looks like it rebuilt fine. Matter of fact, it did. But the deload option tells the compiler to treat what's in here as a program it's going to expect to find later and doesn't link it in. Um, so the way to get around that, well, let's first show you the error that you'll wind up getting. Okay, you got this error. I can't show you the top window, it failed. And that's it says it can't find that particular program. It's actually looking for current directory A, not part of the uh, live structure of kernel 32. Okay, so that is one error that you get. Again, to resolve it, we'll go back to the steps real quick, compile our options, we'll remove the deload, and um, delete. Yes. Press OK. 
and then we'll just recompile. And you might wonder, well, how do I resolve this? Well, you have two different options. One is a uh, common option, that's to put your API calls into a single COBOL program, call to that program, and let it return back what the API called. So that way you can use um, your alpha L compile. The other is, which we'll cover in the next tutorial or future tutorial, is a uh, the ability to use entry files and what's called a CBR file or an entry file. And just to show you that this worked correctly, we're going to go ahead and run. And we'll bring this down, and you can see that it um, that it ran fine. Any questions or concerns, please contact support. You're going to reach me at matt underscore moser at mosersoft.com. Thanks, and have a great day.